Today I'm going to share how I'm going to transform this pot. I picked up this pot at the thrift store for $2 and I have already given it a coat of primer with this primer right here and I'm going to transform it with some drywall mud here, some actual dirt, and some sponges. So stay tuned and see what I do. Okay, I put on some gloves just to protect my manicure. I hate to mess up my nails when I've just had them done. So I've actually added a titch of water to the drywall mud just to thin it down just a bit. And then I'm just going to sprinkle in some dirt that I picked up from my garden. What I want to do is I, when I spread this on the pot, I want it to be textury and rough like a, an old pot would be. So I'm just going to mix that in there. Whoops, I have a chunk of dry fall off the side. Add a little bit more dirt. Okay, so it looks like this. You can see that there's some bumps in it, and that's what I want. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just start spreading it on my pot here. I'm gonna initially, whoops, you can see some of the dirt just showing through. That'll be just fine. We'll just smush it in there. So I'm gonna get it on with the knife, and then I'm gonna kind of use my hands to spread it around. And if I have a little bit of pot showing underneath, I don't mind. Um, a little bit of the dark underneath is just gonna help give it some age. Okay, and then I'll just keep working around the pot. Once the entire pot is covered with this drywall mud mixture, um, I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and just to let it start to harden up a bit. And then I took a sponge and I just kind of, um, a damp sponge, and just kind of knocked down some of the um, ridges that were kind of high and just kind of pounced it just to remove any marks from the trowel or any other marks that I, I wanted it to be a little bit more organic. My pot has now um, dried overnight. You can kind of see the texture that I have gotten on it. And now I am ready to paint. And what I've done is I want it to be kind of a soft white. So I took some white paint and I actually stirred in a little bit of taupe paint and then I'm going to go ahead and just paint that over the entire surface. I'm going to use just a little um, foamy brush and I did wet it so that it would kind of glide a little bit easier on the surface. So I'm just going to cover the entire pot with this color and then I'm going to come back in with some darker tones to just push some color into some of these crevices so that it looks a little more aged and worn. And I am just using um, acrylic paint for this. Um, I did do a flat finish on it. I don't want any sheen on this.
I'm now ready to add my shading. This is mostly dry. You can see it's still a little bit tacky in spots, but that's okay. So I have got some colors that I'm going to use to shade with. I've got this taupe color, a darker gray, and then some brown. And to do the shading, what I'm going to do is just dip my brush in a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna just pick up a little bit of the color. And I'm just gonna start dabbing it on where I'd like to have some shading. So as I put it on, just gonna kind of randomly put that color on. And then I'm gonna take a coffee filter that I'm gonna get wet and then I'm just going to blend it with the coffee filter just to blend that color around. So I'll go around and I'll put the taupe color on first and then I will come back and add each color on its own. So this is just gonna to be totally random in the way that I put this color on, making my lines crooked. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Let's rotate it there. I've cleaned out my brush and now I'm going to pick up a little bit of this brown. <clears throat> it's actually kind of, um, the brown has some reddish undertones to it. So I'm just gonna use this one really sparingly and just throw it in a couple spots and then blend it in. Almost has that hint that there's terracotta or something underneath it. And see how it's staying in some of those grooves, that darker color. That's what I want. final color I'm going to pick up is that dark gray. I'm going to rinse my brush out and just pick up a little bit. Once again, this one I'm just going to use just the smallest amount. So picking up the dark gray and I'm just going to find some little crevices that I want to put it in. Okay, a 
love that. You see what that's doing? It's just giving that, that extra bit of dimension in those crevice areas, those little holes that are there. That's what getting this texture on the pot allows you to create all this dimension because of those crevices that we created. All right, let me do a good spot there. I think I'm about there. I'm just going to put a titch just a little bit around the lip of the gray. All right. I'm going to Put it up close so you can kind of see the dimension and the age that I was able to achieve by just adding those three colors to my off-white base. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll stage it and show you how it is in my home. So here's my completed pot. I've staged it on my shelf above my stairs. Um, I paired it with the other pot that we made using plaster. You see how they can complement each other. Either one works great and you can change the look just with the paint. This is my inspiration pot that came from Pottery Barn. I love their pottery. I think it is gorgeous, um, but it's pricey. And so we were able to make I only spent $2 on my pot, the other supplies I already had on hand. So it's really economical to just make your own. Thank you for watching a Sunnyside Design tutorial. We'd love to hear what you think about this project. Is this something you'd like to try? Please drop us a line in our comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. And as always here at Sunnyside Design, we hope to bring your home to the sunny side of the street.